100-year-old Uncle Wes from New South Wales has spent his long life waiting for change. He says he'd never thought he'd see representation of Indigenous people in Parliament. I don't know whether I thought I would see him, but it's something that, it's a dream. It's a dream. But he's wary after witnessing policy after policy fail to create tangible change. If we do have a voice in Parliament, it's got to be the right people. It's got to be the people, the grassroots people. In Tasmania, Tully O'Neill is training on country to become an Indigenous ranger. He's hopeful the voice may bring about much needed change. Having the representation of Aboriginal people in Parliament is a massive step um, that a lot of people have worked really hard to get. The voice is being supported by many Indigenous Australians who feel that it's been a long time coming. However, others still have reservations about whether the voice will be able to create enough tangible change to make a difference. It's a concern in the Northern Territory, where some communities feel they haven't been consulted enough. We have our own voice, not people representing us in Parliament that have no idea what our dreams are of creating economic development to better our communities for our people and our kids. But in central Australia, William Tillmouth says the disillusionment of rural communities is more proof that a voice is needed. People who are the most disadvantaged and the least voice possible are the ones that should be heard more. Um, yes, it, it gives people purpose, it gives people hope. Opinions on The Voice are diverse, but one thing is clear. First Nations people are ready for change. Isabella Tolhurst, ABC News.